Hello guys, what's going on? My name is Sam, or Chaotic, and welcome back to another GTA 5 online livestream here on my channel. So today, I woke up and I saw over on Twitter, Foxy Snaps tweeted out that we have a brand new vehicle in GTA Online. And to much surprise, it is the Overflood Otark, which I'm pretty sure... It's safe to say, no one expected to receive in GTA Online today. Yesterday was Christmas Day, we received the Hermes that went over there. The day afterwards, we've now received the Overflood Otark, which is crazy. We've literally received four vehicles in the past week, or eight days or so. Last Tuesday, we received the Sentinel Classic. Then on the Friday, we received the Strider. Then, of course, yesterday, the Hermes, and now the Overflood Otark. And uh, here it is, right here. It is a very, very cool-looking vehicle in Venice. And I know it's one you guys are going to absolutely love. Uh, it is the first Overflood that we've gotten in a DLC or an update since the release of the game. There's only one other Overflood in the game, and that is the Entity XF. So, yes, here we go, the Overflood Otak. And, of course, you can buy this from the Legendary Motorsports website today for the price of $1,955,000. And uh, something interesting as well about the description of this, it says here, Go on, we dare you not to buy it. <laughs> So yeah, let's see if you guys can resist doing that. In fairness, at that price, it's a lot of money. I'm, I'm pretty sure some of you guys can resist that. And hopefully in this stream today, we can decide whether it's a good car or not. I've seen very, very mixed opinions about this vehicle already in the comment section. Uh, I know it's one of those things that some of you guys may not even realize it was released today, and I wouldn't have expected it. So if you have been online today, you may not have spotted this, but yes, it is now available in-game. Uh, we're going to go for a drive around, and uh, yeah, then we'll go and customize it. One thing I want to point out, the rear end of this car, I have sort of shown this off in a past live stream, but it looks so, so good. And I'm going to be quiet for a second so we can hear the exhaust sound. Oh, it just sounds kind of generic, to be honest. It's nothing, like, too crazy, too insane. This is a supercar, of course, guys. Uh, whether it's the fastest one in game or not, I don't know. I don't think it is. We'll definitely try that out later on, though. We'll get some of you guys in. And we shall do some races and some tests with this thing. The brakes do feel pretty good, though. Yeah, they do feel pretty good. Yeah, unfortunately, the engine sound isn't all that special. Nevertheless, though, very, very cool car. But hello to everybody tuned in right now. I can see loads and loads of you guys in the chat. Uh, I've got a question. Where is the snow? It has been removed. And uh, if I'm honest, I logged into the game. I just went straight to my garage to go and buy this. Oh my god. And uh, it was only sort of like when I got to my garage, I thought, where's the snow? <laughs> I didn't even realize at first. But yes, the snow has been removed. It is now the day after Christmas, but I'm sure it will be returning um, later this week for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. I'll probably talk about that later on in the video. Um, but yes, I'm sure it will be coming back now later this week. Um, but I guess we'll have to wait and see on that one. Rockstar may, in fact, announce that today on the Newswire uh, with the announcement about this as well. We'll see, I guess. I really love the rear end of this car. Uh, the front end is still pretty cool. It's got a very, like, cool design, I guess, but I, I do love the back end of this. And, of course, as you're driving around, you see the rear end a lot more than the front. So I'm certainly very, very happy. And this car does have... A few customizations, not like a crazy amount, but it does have a few customizations, so we'll head down to the custom shop right now and go and see um, what we can do to this. We'll probably customize two of them, um, just so we can try out, you know, various different customizations and, uh, and stuff like that. We usually do that in streams, and then you guys, of course, can choose your favorites. In fact, let me go ahead and buy another one right now, just so that when we finish customizing this, we can go and move on to the second one straight afterwards. So yes, Legendary Motorsports websites, there it is, 1,955,000, and we'll buy that one in... Yeah, we'll go for a yellow on that one. Put that in Garage 2. Perfect. There we go. Alright, let's go into the custom shop, get this repaired, and customized. Uh, is this available on PS4? It should be available across all platforms today. Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. When I say all platforms, I don't include all sure. gen simply because they, they don't really classify as platforms anymore, in my opinion. Uh, they don't really get updated. Uh, right, upgrade the armor and the brakes. Okay, bumpers. All right. So we have the option to keep the stock bumper and fit canards, which is uh, a pretty cool looking fairness. So I probably will be going up with that one. Um, but we can also go with a primary stock bumper, so it just adds this primary color. 
around the uh, the base. As you can see, the base of the uh, the splitter. We can go for the canards version. Then we have the stock secondary. Obviously, right now I think the secondary color is black, which could look pretty cool as well. I have the canards version. Then we have this one, the GT bumper, which is uh, I guess a less shaped version, which is very very round. Uh, adds these little uh, sections by right here, and you can sort of see the intercooler as well, just poking through there. I'm not really a huge fan of that look. Uh, and then obviously we have the primary GT version of that, with the canards, and then the secondary version of that. Like I said, my personal favorite is the stuck with canards, because um, I prefer that sort of... I don't even know how you describe that, that sort of edgy look. Is that a way to sort of say that? <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and choose that one, stuck with canards. Uh, then rear diffuser. Uh, now this basically just changes the color of um, these by here, this this sort of section. Um, I'm just going to leave that on stock. I think it's uh, it's either carbon or black right now. We have a donation from NYL who said, uh, "Guess who got paid? And are we having a car show?" And first of all, shout out to NYL. Thank you so much. And later on, yes, we will be doing some tests with this. Um, so give me sort of like 10, 15 minutes or so, and we'll definitely try and get some people in. Uh, but big shout out to you. Let's move on to engine. Yeah, I left the diffuser the same. It just changes the color of that. Not really a huge fan. Yeah, okay, it looks just cool as it is. Uh, upgrade the engine onto exhausts. Um, so right now we have one single exhaust this side, uh, and basically every option either I should go for single or double. Um, so if you want to go that for that symmetrical look, it's definitely worth considering. Um, so we have the dual exhaust, you know, same stock one, just on the other side. And we have the titanium version, and then the dual version of that. We have the carbon, and then dual version of that, and then aluminium, and then dual version of that. We're going to go for the dual exhaust. I don't think there's even much difference really between this and that. It looks pretty much, pretty much identical. Maybe a slightly different shade of silver, but uh, we can save ourselves. I think that was like seven hundred dollars. Yeah, seven hundred and fifty dollars. So we've just saved ourselves like ten thousand, and you know a thousand or so, eleven thousand um, dollars, just to go for that one. Uh, moving on then to fenders. Now, interestingly enough, the fenders option has two different selections, so we can choose two customizations in here, which is rather unusual. Um, but if we want to, we can fit these front canards, uh, which are just these sort of like strips along the fenders. Uh, I'm not really a huge fan of that, but you guys might like that. Uh, then onto the rear fenders, so the stock right now uh, we have fitted is sort of this section here. We can then change that to secondary or carbon, which in fairness doesn't look too bad. Um, but I actually prefer, I prefer the vented version. So we're going to go for the vented rear fender. We have the secondary color version of that. And then obviously the carbon version as well. Which yeah, again, isn't too bad. But we're going to go for the uh, the stock version, like the vented now primary color. Onto hood, and again we have... Is that 10 options in here? Um, so we can change it to secondary or carbon. Then we have this uh, crescent hood, which adds like a, a small vent on the uh, the rear section of the hood. Um, and we have the secondary and carbon versions of that. And we have the aggressor, which we're probably going to go for actually. That's pretty cool. Very aggressive, I guess you could say. Um, secondary version of that, and then obviously carbon. I'm not a huge fan of carbon, although it does it does go well with the uh, the panels we have here. But I'm gonna go with the, uh, the like primary color version. So let's select that. Uh, horn, do we go for a, a festive loop? That's still here. Let's do it. Let's go for the festive loop too. I think I always select that one. Uh, headlights, we'll upgrade those to Xenons. We might come back to Neon Kit later on. But I'm not so sure just yet. Uh, I still haven't got my custom plate on. Every day I say this. I still haven't done it. <laughs> and by the way guys, um, the secondary color, if you change it, it will adjust like a color around the outside of the wheel. I'll show you guys that now in a few moments. Uh, in regards to the colors though, what we're going to go for on this, I feel like it's the type of color that will look good in pretty much any color. Like white looked pretty cool. Um, gray as well looks pretty nice. This dark steel. Let's go down to red. Red's quite nice as well. The color that I had on the thumbnail it was like a yellowy color. I might even go for that because um, that was pretty cool. There's candy red. It's quite nice as well. Pink. It's that sort of orangey color. And there's the uh, the yellow. Yeah, we, well, we did buy another one of these a few moments ago in yellow. So we might, uh, yeah, we might go for that on the second one. I think we're going to leave it on white, though. White's pretty cool. If you guys have any suggestions, though, or recommendations, let me know right now in the chat. There's ultra blue. Yeah, I'm back to white. White is very nice, but I just feel like it's too plain. 
wouldn't mind trying something else. Maybe we'll go for a red. I see loads of you guys suggesting red. Uh, Nwell came in and said uh, matte blue. Shout out to Nwell for that donation and matte blue. Let's try matte. Matte blue. There we go. That's not too bad. What I feel though with matte is that especially colors like this and red, um, they don't look so good in the sun. They have a very like whitey shine to them, if that makes sense. I'm not really a huge fan of that. But uh, matte is a good shout. We could look through some of these. Yellow. Maybe later on. Ooh, lime green. That's pretty cool. Should we just go for white? I know it's very, very plain, but... It's either going to be that or red. What about chrome? Should we try chrome? No, we'll, we'll, go for, we'll go for a red. Loads and loads of you guys suggesting red. So we'll go for red. Just a standard red? Or do we go for like a slightly brighter one? Serena red? Or formula red? Oh, we should go for a standard red. It saves us a few thousand as well. <laughs> I know I've got plenty of money in game, but I'm still being tight with it. Uh, Alright, let's move on to the secondary color this time. And you can see, yes, I think at the moment we only have... Yeah, the wheels are the only like secondary color that we have on. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and choose red for the uh, the secondary as well. So we have this sort of like red circle or inner circle on the wheels. Um, which means we're going to have to leave the wheels stock. But in fairness, the stock wheels on this do look pretty good. Um, so that's not such a bad thing. Um, so there we go. There's that selected. Uh, skirts. We can basically just change the color of this from stock to the primary color. Secondary which is the same right now, uh, this sort of like primary carbon, but it doesn't change the entire section of the skirt, just this this top section. Um, so yeah, we're gonna leave it on stock, which as you can see, uh, allows the, the bottom section of the skirt as well to stay that sort of carbony black color. Moving on to spoiler. Now in fairness from stock, this thing looks pretty good anyway, but we got a few spoiler options. This one here, the primary stock spoiler, uh, which just looks like a slab, of, uh, <laughs> a slab of metal, I guess, just on top of that rear section. Um, not quite high enough. We have this one, the primary raised spoiler, uh, which is effectively the same thing, just obviously raised with these sections by here. Um, not really a huge fan of those. It reminds me of the Zentorno. Then we have the primary sport spoiler, a little better. Uh, and we have the secondary color version of that, and the oh, next one is the primary aggressor, which is like a curved uh, spoiler. That's pretty cool. Um, then we have the primary race spoiler, possibly my favorite out of all of them. Well, this one here is pretty cool as well. The primary GT spoiler. We'll probably go for that one, actually. The same one from the Tempesta, right? And then we have the primary high spoiler, which I think is a little high. Maybe that's just me. So we're going to go for the primary GT spoiler. Let's go for that. And uh, Adam said, please don't use a big spoiler. Would you classify this as a big spoiler? It does look, yeah, in fact, it does look really nice without a spoiler, this car. Maybe the second one we'll customize later on. Uh, we won't put a spoiler on it. We'll see what it looks like. But obviously, if we do go for a spoiler, it does increase the uh, the traction, I believe. Oh, it actually has max traction right now, so maybe it doesn't. Who knows? A donation from Nwell, again, who said, The car has really naughty word tuning. <laughs> um, is it that bad? Obviously, I haven't, I haven't driven around yet, but uh, it seems alright to me. Uh, we won't lower the suspension down. Or maybe we should, maybe a little bit. I don't want to go too much. There we go, street suspension, upgrade the transmission, fit a turbo, leave the wheels because obviously we can't, uh, or we can't, but I want to leave that uh, red circle on the uh, the intersection. And should we tint the windows? I've kind of gone off tinting windows, we'll leave it the same, we'll leave it stuck. And uh, yeah, there we go, that is it for the customization then. Let's back out of the Los Santos Customs and take a look at this thing in a few moments in the daylight. Um, so like I said, a few customization options then available for this. Uh, we also changed the uh, the spoiler, the front bumper, the skirts. We didn't change the skirts uh, or the rear diffuser, but you can only change the color on that. Uh, what else? We have the option to change the hood, that as well. Anything else? Or was that it? That might have been it. Oh, the vents as well, the rear fenders. Those are pretty cool as well. There we go. Now it sounds a little better as well. Now that we've actually uh, we've actually tuned it. It still has that very generic uh, supercar sound, but it does sound a little louder. But maybe that's just me, I don't know. Some of you guys saying this car looks very nice. Yeah, it is a very cool looking car. It's a shame it's nighttime right now. Otherwise, we could uh, really enjoy it in the sun. In fact, we'll just keep driving around until it is. It's uh, currently almost half three uh, Yeah, in the game. So another hour or so in game. It's another minute, and it will be, uh, it will be daytime. 
Um, some of you guys... Oh, we didn't do a neon kit. Let's go back in. Yes, I said we might do one. Uh, we might actually go for one on this. We'll go for a red neon kit. We'll quickly drive back. Uh, I've got requests in the chat right now for drag racing and racing it. We will do that later on. I'm going to try and invite some of you guys in. We'll do some drag race down at the airport and we'll take it around the track as well and see what it's like in comparison to other cars. Um, yeah, loads of you guys asking about snow. The snow has been removed from GTA Online. It was removed this morning when this vehicle was released into the game. Lights. It will be coming back though, I'm sure, uh, later this week, so don't worry about that. From back and sides, and we're going to go for a red. There we go. Perfect. Not usually a fan of neon kits, but every now and again, I'd like to try them out. Here we go. Alright. It's time now in game. Almost four. Look at that. Time goes so quickly. I think it's a minute. Is that right? Is it a minute per hour? Or something on those lines? Pretty sure it is. Alright, okay. Yeah, next next hour or so, next minute, and it will be uh, it will be sunny. It'll be nice and uh, nice and bright for us to uh, drive around. So we'll just start driving towards I don't know the military base. We can turn back around and stuff. Uh, PlayStation said, "Why did you go for red? It's overrated." Um, I am going to go for a yellow one. We're going to customize the second one now, very very shortly, and just try out the other customization options. Um, but red was the most requested color in the chat. You guys know the drill. We go for the customizations that you guys suggest. Um, so yeah, we went for red for that reason. I know that a lot of people have red supercars. In fact, a lot of my cars in GTA 5 are red. Um, but it's just a nice color, I guess. Oops. Adam asked, am I going to be inviting people into the session? I will be very, very shortly once we finish customizing. Uh, I don't know if you guys tuned into my stream the other day, but we had a lot of griefers and, and modders and stuff in the session, and uh, it was an absolute disaster. Um, so what I'm going to do from now on, unless I need people in the session, I'm not going to invite anyone in. I'm sorry guys, but it's uh, it's just the easiest way to avoid that. Uh, Lucas asks, is it good at racing? At the moment, I'm not so sure. We haven't actually done anything apart from just drive it around the map a bit and customize it, but we will be trying that out. We'll definitely see what it's like around the track. Some people saying it's not so good in the terms of handling. Um, we haven't really gone around any corners yet, but we'll... So let see how it is. Oops. That was my fault then, not the car. Apparently it oversteers a lot. I don't know how true that is, but we'll see. We've got a nice corner here now. Is it rear-wheel drive? This car is rear-wheel drive, right? I think I talked about that in the video the other day. Yes, yeah, rear-wheel drive. Not all-wheel drive. Apparently I'm ignoring the chats. <laughs> I'm trying my best. I don't know how you guys expect me to read like every single comment and actually do a live stream. But yes, the snow. I know loads and loads of people commenting about the snow. The snow has been removed. It will be coming back though, I'm sure. So don't worry about that. And Royal donated one dollar and said uh, invite only session. I am in an invite only session right now, but yeah, I'm not inviting anybody in. We were in an invite only session the other day, um, and while well, you were in the game, and we had a load of modders in the uh, the race. And I didn't know who it was, so it's just best not to invite anybody in to, uh, you know, sort of solve that issue. Right, the sun is coming up right now. It's uh, 5.20 in game, yes. The sun starts to come up from around about now. So we can go and enjoy this thing in the sunlight. We'll probably make our way back to the, uh, the office, though, and go and pick up our second car. Oh, my God. You didn't need to turn into this lane. I, I swear they do it on purpose. These AI drivers, these NPCs. Um, apparently I didn't put bulletproof tires on. Did I not? Alright, we'll stop by the, uh, the custom shop on the way back. Yeah, I forgot the neon kits. I probably forgot that as well. <laughs> so I do apologize. We got Itch Javer in the chat. What's up, man? How's it going? And again, someone asked about the snow. The snow has been removed, yes. We're in online. Although I saw one person say that it hasn't been removed on PS4. Apparently, uh, if you... We're online before the snow is removed, and you just stayed in that same session. Uh, you should still have the snow. Um, but I have seen one or two people comment saying they still have the snow, and they've only just turned the game on. So I'm not really too sure what's going on there. Uh, tell us, ask why aren't you on your main account? Uh, my main account right now is sort of bugged. The whole uh, money issue, where if you have too much money, um, you can't call your mechanic and stuff. I need to basically remove some of my money. 
and until I do that, I can't really use the account. So I'm just borrowing the second account um, that my, my friend or Dom was using when he was making videos for me. Uh, until I could be bothered to go and sort this that out. That it, it's really annoying you know. because my main account has everything I need on it. Um, you know, it has all of the properties and all my personal cars and stuff like that. And uh, obviously this account has very little. Um, but yeah, it's, it's whatever, man. Again, uh, someone else came in the chat and said uh, it's the snow's gone. Well observed, it has. Do you play PS4? No, I don't. I do have one though, but I just don't. I don't. Once you start playing PC, you never want to play console. It's because it's just so much better. Change to yellow, the request from the chat. Yeah, we're gonna go and customize the second one right now. I wanna go and check out sort of different customizations. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go for yellow. Because the one in the thumbnail that like, I made for this, uh, well, for the thumbnail, uh, I thought was pretty cool. So yeah, we're gonna go and give that a try. Uh, Luke asked, please tell me why this is an overflot. Overflot, of course, is the sort of like in-game version of the Cunning's Egg, uh, the, or the brand Cunning's Egg, and this here is supposedly based upon a Cunning's Egg. I know the rear end is. I'm not about, not so sure about the front end. Apparently, the front end is based upon the Ferrari Enzo, but uh, I'm, I'm not really up to date with uh, what Cunning's Egg I'm making right now. So that's why the rear end. Here we go. My my second one, the one that we bought before we customize that first one. So as a reminder for those people just tuning in right now, yes, this car is out today in GTA Online. You can buy it from the Legendary Motorsports website. $1,955,000. We're gonna take it straight down into the uh, the custom shop. We might not put a spoiler on it at all. Donation from NWAL again, who said, uh, wanna know a cool trick? Invite Shyla, invite no one else. <laughs> Yeah, I, the thing is, I would. I would invite the people in that I trust. But then we have people in the comment section saying that it's unfair that I'm not inviting them because, you know, they're genuine players. Uh, it doesn't matter that much. I'm, I'm focusing on just customizing the cars right now. So it's not like people in the session can do anything apart from just be there. So as soon as I'm, you know, just cruising around in free mode and stuff, don't worry. I'll invite you in. Anyway, let's move on to the uh, first customization option then for the Overflood. Uh, let's go for the... We went for the stock one. We cannot last time. Let's try maybe one of these painted ones and give that a try. So let's go for the primary stock with canards this time. Not really a huge fan of uh, any of these down here, so we'll probably leave these. Donation from Sam, who said... Okay, it's not going to read it out. Uh, next, Midnight Purple and Palescent Lime Green. We'll give it a try, but I might want to go... I might, well, I'm very tempted to go for the yellow that we have right now. But yeah, we'll give, definitely give that a try. So big shout out to Sam uh, for that, that donation and suggestion as well. Thank you, man. Right to the back. Do so we go for a colored uh, diffuser this time? Go on, let's do it. Let's give it a try. That's a beauty try some different there. customization options on this one. It's the idea of customizing a second one. We probably won't put a spoiler on. We will, though, put the, uh, the dual exhausts on the same one as uh, the last car. On two fenders. Should we try these? I don't really like them that much, but should I just try them? What do you guys think? Front canards, yes or no? I'll fit them for now, but if you guys uh, say no, I can always remove those. Um, we will go for the uh, vented rear fenders as well. So I'm not really too sure if I even like them. They just look kind of, I don't know, strange. It reminds me of the Hermes that we had yesterday. Um, like very, yeah, loads and loads of people saying no. Okay, okay, let's remove those then. Let's remove those. There's like one or two people saying yes. Mostly no though. Okay. Uh, and then again, in the hoods category, last time we went for the aggressive, uh, yeah, the aggressive hood. Um, I'm going to go for the crescent one this time around. Which is a pretty cool now hood as well. So let's go for that. Uh, horn, we'll go for a festive loop again. Let's go for the first one. Lights, let's put those on. Come back to neon kits in a few moments. Guys, you'll have to remind me because I will forget. Alright, let's put that plate on. Alright, we'll try... We'll try the, uh, the suggestion that Sam made a few moments ago. Let me just quickly check what he said. He said... Uh, Next, try Midnight Purple with a Palescent Lime Green. Let's give that a try. Okay. Metallic. Midnight Purple. And then Secondary. I oh, know it's Palescent, my bad. And then Lime Green. I haven't really put a uh, Palescent on a vehicle in a while. There we go. Lime Green. I can't see the, uh, the purple anymore. Is that just the lighting in here? It doesn't look too bad in fairness. I am gonna, probably going to stick with the yellow, though, um, just because I like the yellow. Um, but that's pretty cool. I reckon when we go outside, it'll look much better as well. 
Yeah, we're gonna leave it on the yellow though. Onyx, I'm, well, I'm, I'm sort of preferring the yellow right now. Yellow, yellow, yellow. There it is, yellow. Yeah, it looks pretty cool in yellow in fairness. Um, right, we won't change the secondary, because obviously it keeps the, uh, yeah, the line thing around the, uh, the wheel. I've just realized as well, the secondary color does change this along the, uh, the top of the car as well. And by there, which I didn't spot or point out earlier on. Anyway, move on to the next customization option. Yeah, we'll probably leave the skirts the same as the stock. Oh, I feel like I should try, yeah, we should try something else. Let's go for the, uh, let's go for the primary one. Let's see if that looks any better. Oops, I was backed out again. I'm not so sure if we should go for a spoiler. Like, it looks, it looks nice with that one, so maybe we'll just leave it as it is. We won't put a spoiler on. Suspension, we will lower that down, but again, I want to go all the way. It just looks too much if we go that low down, so we'll leave it as it is on street. Transmission, upgrade that. Turbo, set one of those. Wheels, we'll leave those the same. And yeah, we're not going to take the windows. We will. Oops, wrong one. Tires, we will put bulletproof tires on. I forgot to do that last time. And we'll put a yellow tire smoke on as well. And then go back to neon kit and we'll put one of those on as well. Neon, neon, neon. It's in the light section. There it is. Neon kits. Front, back, and sides, and then set that to. Oh, let's go for golden shower. That's that's kind of the yellow we have right now. All right, there we go. Let's back out. Even before it's raining, it's not. Sweet. There we go. So you guys saying try a race yellow instead? So, yeah, the um, tire smoke is the wrong yellow. Let's go back inside and quickly change it to like an orange. That should be a lot more fitting. It's Javer asked, did you have a nice Christmas? I did, man. It was a very chill Christmas. What did you guys get up to yesterday? Was it a fun day for you guys? Orange. We go for, yeah, orange. Probably the closest one, right? Yeah, let's go for orange. Give that a try. It might be, I'm just afraid it's going to be too orange. Maybe like a, a something in, in between the yellow and the orange. We could always go for a crust, a, a crust them? A custom crew color. Here we go, All right. Yeah, it's too orange. God damn it. Alright. Well, I'll just remove the tire smoke completely. That's a shame. Some of you guys telling me to change the interior. I don't think we can actually do anything to the interior. Um, we'll go back to respray though and see if we can change the dashboard and stuff. Uh, wheels, tires, tire smoke. And we'll just go to black. There we go. Alright, back to respray. Yeah, there's no option to change the interior. We are stuck with like a yellow... Or an orange stitching. Orange stitching. We go into first person. There we go. Very basic interior. Shame we can't change that. It's kind of annoying. But there we go. All right, so let's back out. Uh, G Z X T O Y T said, "I've got a question. What's the question, man? Let me know in the chat." Uh, Unspeakable asks, "How much is the DLC for PS3?" <laughs> I don't know if that's a troll or a genuine question. It's not out on PS3, man. There haven't been any updates on PS3 in forever. Feels like a good two years or so, right? There we go. I think I do prefer the car without a spoiler, actually. It looks so cool. Just that rear end. The spoiler is nice. I just don't feel that there are any like, good enough options. I don't really like any of the options, really, um, for this in the spoiler category. It does sound pretty good. I know it's got that very generic engine sound, but it sounds alright, in my opinion. A lot of you guys are asking whether it's worth buying. Oops. Personally, I think it's just so good looking that even if it's not that good in terms of speed and, uh, you know, in races and stuff, it's worth considering if you have the money. Um, but if it's sort of like racing around... Oh my god. Today, I don't know what's going on. These, these AIs just like pull out in front of you as soon as you go past. Uh, if you're into, really into racing and stuff, uh, I guess we'll see now. In fact, we'll invite some people in right now into this session and we'll do some drag races and stuff and see... Um, whether we can get a sort of idea of what it's like. We we'll invite people in that I know are not modders. We've got some modders uh, added, and I don't know who they are, so we'll just invite people that I trust. Uh, NYL, there we go. Uh, who else is online? I know Alex isn't, so let's invite Alex. Um, Banana Power, this guy can't be a modder. In fact, we could look at their character, couldn't we? Let's invite uh, this guy in. Anyone in the story mode just might be waiting for an invite. I know uh, ESPN Pro isn't. 
Some Danger Panda, I know he's a good guy. Uh, some Fight Lawrenson. This guy's got Christmas stuff on, I'm sure he's a legit player. <laughs> Don't even ask what the logic is. And. Yeah, and Danger Panda is joined. Okay, let me actually add some more people as well. Because my friend request list is full right now, and I can only add six people at a time, which is kind of annoying. Um, so we might as well just start and try and add some more throughout this uh, this live stream. Can't get uh, I'm Fat Man in here, unfortunately. Right, so we have Shyla in here right now, and Shyla's got uh, their Otark. In fact, let's go down to the uh, let's go down to the airport right now. Can you get a different supercar? Can you get another supercar? Let's go and see what this thing is like doing a drag race. I'll meet you down there. Any supercar will do. It can be anything, just as long as it's uh, reasonably fast. Uh, maybe something like the Tempesta, the X80 Proto. Uh, what else is pretty good? And that's what you guys are going to say. Compare it to the 811. The 811 is fastest in a straight line, but it takes forever to get to its top speed. Um, so you'd never achieve it on the drag race. So although it is fastest, you know, sort of in game, eventually. Um, this will probably seem faster, just because, like I said, it probably accelerates a lot faster than that does. Uh, in fact, I'm not really too sure what its top speed even is. Let's see if we can figure it out right now. Can't even see the, uh, <laughs> we can't see the speedo very well. I see 110, is it? 120? I think. I can hardly see what's going on. The steering wheel's in the way. Then you can duck down. I'm not too sure what button it is on PC. Can I drive in? Is it gonna let me drive in? No. If I call Pegasus though, I can go straight in, so let's do that. Call Pegasus. I've already damaged my car, I shouldn't really matter now. Hello, Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How can I help uh, you? Buzzer. There we go. Your beautiful new aircraft oh, no is way. waiting at our nearest in the... airfield. We hope you're very happy, oh, sir. Oh, yes you did. There we go. Perfect. Basically, if you damage your car too much, it does affect the speed. Uh, I did a test on this uh, a couple months back with uh, my friend Dom, who of course was making videos for me a while back. And uh, we did test it. There is a small speed difference. In fact, I think, depending on what car you're using and what damage, some cars are faster with damage, whereas others are obviously slower. Um, but again, uh, I don't want to sort of risk it with this car. Alright, so we have a couple players in here right now. Everybody join the session. If you guys can get yourself supercars and make your way down to the airport, we're going to test out what this thing is like in a straight line. My car right by here. There we go. Um, let's you guys saying uh, that I'm wrong. It doesn't look like a cunning zec. I'm sure the rear end is. Don't ask me which car. I'm sure it is. If it's not, if anyone knows what car this is based upon, let me know in the chat. And uh, yeah, I can shout you out. Uh, try it against the Ocelot um, Zapare. Isn't that a, a sports car or am I wrong? And uh, also try against the X80 Proto. Right, we have the Luxo down here right now. <laughs> nice. All right, we have an X80 Proto. We've got uh, two of these, the RE-7Bs and the Luxo. Okay. Anyone else coming down right now? Is that everyone? Okay, right. I'll throw the grenade. And if uh, whoever that is, Lawrence, could just sort of like move out the way, that'd be appreciated. Okay, right, I've gone past it. Try that again. Every single time, there we go. Right, throw the grenade, you guys in the drill, as soon as it explodes, drive. Yeah, it's a little bit faster then off the line. The X80 Proto though is already ahead. We are miles ahead of the, uh, the RE Death 7B though. That might have just been down to the delayed start, but we are still miles ahead. The RE Death 7B is supposed to be really good in races as well. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, we were never going to catch up on the X80. The X80 is all-wheel drive as well, so off the line it will be just better at launching. If this spins its wheels. Alright, let's try again. I'm ready? Okay, here we go. You guys know the drill. It explodes. Go, 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 go. It's much better launch that time. Alright. X80 is still ahead. RE-7B is sort of like the same speed, but slightly edging ahead, very, very slightly. Yeah, we've definitely lost to the RE-7B, oh, the 
X80 Pro 2, my bad. I'm confusing myself right now. Sweet. Well, there we go. So we know it's slower than the uh, the X80 in a straight line. Um, let's... Uh, can you guys swap cars? For another supercar? We'll try it against some other supercars and see what we can get in terms of results. Uh, any, any, anyone, anything that's fast, I guess. Um, the Wagner, if you guys have it, the Tempesta, uh, the XA21, it's a good suggestion as well, that was made by Winter in the chat. Loads of you guys asking for the, uh, the Ocelot Power Air. Hope I said that right, it's probably wrong, right? <laughs> I'm terrible with pronunciation. Um, the Visioni as well. Any of those cars, just get any of them and, uh, we'll give those a try. Some of you guys asking for the uh, 811. Like I said, the 811 is fast, but in a straight line, it does take time to get to its top speed, so there's no point really testing that in this. Right, we have the uh, the Tempesta. Anything else? Lawrence has come down with a <laughs> with a plane. Just get a car. <laughs> uh, X GTA glitches XRs. How much is the car? It's in the title, man. One million nine hundred and fifty-five thousand dollars. Invite some more people in. Uh, anonymous is an invite. Uh, Mugsack. Just gonna try and avoid anyone I think that might be a martyr. I've tried to remove anyone I don't trust. Alright, so here's one for Chromie again. Here's one for Ben again. Here's one for Division. Fanser Boy is an invite as well. Uh, Banana Power. And we'll go for one more person. There we go. What about Thomas Doomsday? Right, there we go. We've got two people down here right now. Two Tempesters. <laughs> I think it's going to be impossible to get people to choose different cars. It's all good, though. As long as people come with everything. Oh, something else. If the players come with something else but the Tempest, we should be alright. We're on two people right now. Apparently, it's the Radical RXC that this car is based upon. Let me quickly search that up. Radical RXC. Oh, you might be right. Yeah, you might be right. Okay. Definitely the front end. Let me bring this up on stream right now. Yeah. Um, let me just quickly press this. There we go. Uh, yeah, the front end. You can see there's a lot of similarity there. A lot of similarity. As for the rear end, though, maybe not so much. I guess it's, there's a couple of elements there, but not so much. Definitely that front end, though. That's for sure. And uh, if you scroll down, someone's actually got a photo in here as well. Oh, wait, that's a mod. That's a mod for the Radical. That's how similar it is. Yeah, there's definitely some influence there. I guess it's not 100% identical, but there's definitely some influence. Um, apparently, the rear end is based upon the McLaren uh, Senna. Is that right? Search that up. Wait, the McLaren Center is an F1 car. <laughs> right? Is it? Oh, wait, no, I found, I found it. I found it. No, it's not that similar. Not so sure about that one. Right, so we have the X80 down here again. Uh, oh, Shadow's come back with the... Is that the Reaper? Okay. All right, we're ready then. We're ready. Throw the grenade. Let's go. Okay, the Tempesta was definitely better off the line. Alright, those guys started way behind us. Way, way behind us. I'm catching up on the Tempesta. We are faster in a straight line than uh, the Tempesta, which is good. The X80 is catching up. And the Reaper is miles behind. The Reaper isn't that great of a car, unfortunately. It's not that fast. Let's try that again. We have uh, someone else out here now. Alex with the T20. Yes, that is a good suggestion. Right, here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Right, not the best uh, start, but then again, remind, uh, quick reminder uh, for you guys. This is a rear-wheel drive car, so it's never going to be quite as good as the Tempesta and the X80 off the line, because those are all-wheel drive. We are catching up on the Tempesta, though. T20 is behind us. That is surprising. Yeah, the X80's got that one again. I guess you could say it's probably up there, but it's sort of like mid-top range, if that makes sense. 
mid top range in the supercar category. Um, so yeah, I'd imagine it's probably in top 10 fastest cars in a straight line or drag race situation. Um, but yeah, not quite. Uh, yeah, the winner. Oh, okay, Anonymous has come down here now with the Wagner. There we go, let's try this again with the Wagner this time. Yeah, definitely one of the worst starting uh, vehicles. The fact is real driver as well, right? Ben's coming down as well. Space out, guys. Space out. Is that Ben? Just came in then. Oh, that's uh, a fat boy. <laughs> fat boy division there. There you go. I thought it said fat boy then. <laughs> All right, let's try again. Oh, loads and loads of you guys coming down now. That's perfect. All right then, guys. Let's try this. Everyone space out. Go, come here, come here. Space out, space out. Right, so we have the uh, LG Retro Custom down here. Now we've got a few of these, uh, what are they called? The Turismo? Turismo R? No, it's not. No, it's the Zentorno, my bad. Oh, we have a Nero as well, and an 811. Okay, we got loads. We have a good uh, variety now down here, so we can give this a try. Here we go, then. <laughs> I saw that then. Tunes were just uh, started a second or so before. Uh, right, okay. We're behind. So the acceleration on this is decent by the looks of things. Obviously off the line not so good as the rear wheel drive. Um, but we're catching up. We're catching up on the uh, Zentorno as well. Zentorno just stopped. In fact, it might even be one of the fastest in, in a straight line. One of the fastest. Not the fastest, just one of the fastest. Right, we'll try one more time, guys. And then we're going to go and play a race. So you can see what it's like around the track. Uh, I think two just blew up that car. Okay. Try one more time then, guys. Let's go. Three, two, one. Go. Oh, guys, careful, careful. <laughs> okay, that wasn't such a good move. We sort of like got slowed down and then knocked forward. Whoa! That was crazy. Shout out to uh, typical Luke in the chat right now. Hello. How's it going, man? I think Anonymous is uh, modding. I think. <laughs> I don't know why I'd possibly say that for. Alright then, guys. There we go. It's pretty clear then. Uh, it is one of the fastest in a straight line. Not so good off the line, but definitely eventually gets there. Uh, let's go ahead then and play a race. Let's go and play a nice sort of, um, I don't know, corner, cornering race. That's a good one. Is it um, something coroner? Cor cornering corner or something like that? Something coroner, I know it's a good one. Cutting coroners, there we go. That's the one. This one's got a lot of corners in. We usually play this one. Alright, invite some people in as well. We'll go for three laps. We'll put it on non-contact as well. Uh, supercars... Put it on noon. Weather is clear. Traffic off. Once the level's off. Custom vehicles on. And then invite everybody. Friends list. Oh, we should have done that. We should not have done that. We can only get eight people in here as well. That's kind of uh, annoying. Right, everyone joining right now. Quick reminder. Try and select different cars. Don't select the, uh, the vehicle I'm selecting. The, the Otark. In fact, when you join, let me know what, what car you're going to be using. Uh, which car are you going to use? Let's see if we can try and select different cars. Um, we want someone to select like a T20. Someone to select the X80. If someone, if someone has a Banshee, maybe select that. The Wagner. Um, the Tempesta, if I haven't said that already. I'm going to go for my yellow one. Okay, Muggs is going to go for the Nero. Nobody else has commented. Otark. Don't select the Otark. Don't select the Otark. NCDXF. So China. Uh, the Ari does 7 b okay. The X80 said uh, Key Gaming. DP said he's going to choose Yo. <laughs> hello, this is Hel uh, Tell her in the chat. Said, hey, hello. Uh, Aaron asks, can I join? Oh, we're just going into a game right now with just eight spaces, so 
Uh, maybe in the next race, if we play another one. There is a new game mode out today as well, a new adversary mode, which I wouldn't mind checking out at some point. Uh, it's named Slashes, so I'm guessing it's very similar to Slasher, uh, with an S on the end. I'm not sure the difference just yet, but we'll see. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Alright, three laps, non-contact. Look at that. Look at that. The acceleration on this is really good. Really, really good. Right. Go. Guys, this might even be one of the best cars for racing. That's how it feels right now. Shout out to Kex420 for that donation. I'll read the message in a few moments. I'm trying to win this race. Oh my god. Big shout out to you, Kex. Oh, just because everyone else is so bad. <laughs> Look like this car is good. Who's miles behind right now? This car is fast, in fairness. I didn't think it was going to be this fast. Slow, 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 slow. And accelerates. Alright, lap two of two, here we go. Okay, the person that's behind me is... A good couple seconds behind. Four seconds behind. Lawrence is 40 seconds behind. <laughs> what? The, the race is only 50 seconds a lap. <laughs> How is that possible? Okay, we definitely have to replay this one. Replay this one or play a different one. Apparently it was a late start. Oh, okay, okay. It was AFK. <laughs> that makes sense. I wonder how the Entity XF is doing. I know Charlotte's using that one. Charlotte's in third. Okay. It's doing alright. The Entity used to be a really good uh, car to use in races before DLCs. It was, uh, it was either that, that or the, uh, the Veyron, the Adder, the people would select. This is before any other DLC vehicles were added. The Entity was a really nice car. It was reasonably fast, but good at accelerating, whereas the uh, the adder obviously is faster, but not so good at accelerating and getting up to top speed. So on a race like this, the entity would be much better than the adder. But obviously now, with all the new cars we've had over the past four years, it's right down towards the bottom of the category. How is the handling? Uh, at the moment it feels okay. I am having to brake quite hard for some of these corners. But again, I feel that's just because it's a rear-wheel drive car. So it's not quite as planted as a, an all-wheel drive car. But it accelerates well. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Catching up. We're actually going to lap Lawrence in a few moments. I know he was AFK for a few seconds, but uh, I've caught up pretty well. And here we go. First place. By a mile. Like I said, we're going to go for another uh, run of that. Either the same track or a different one, uh, depending on what the options are. Just so we get another idea. I, I feel like that was like an unfair race. I don't know why. We're like so much further ahead of everyone else. Let's watch uh, the... Oh, no, Shia just finished. Uh, let's watch Alex then. If he hasn't finished already. Is he going to select him? Oh, he just finished. <laughs> Great. Uh, can you do a drag race versus the Zentorno, Ada, and T20? We had the Zentorno and the T20 then in that uh, race. I'm pretty sure the T20 is faster, I think. We're watching Lawrence again. Win on Lawrence. He's got a DNF. He's got six seconds. He's got six seconds. Can we do a different map? Okay. All right. Again, like I said, we'll see what the selections are now in the next menu. No, in my luck, it'll just be like air races and, and muscle car races. Obviously, we want a race where we can use supercars. Seven thousand dollars are coming first. That's not so good. This one is kind of bad since all the light poles. Well, the idea is you have to try and avoid the light poles. <laughs> Has the snow gone? Yes. The snow has been removed. But only for a few days. I'm sure it'll be back. Alright, let's move on to the next race. Again, same sort of thing, guys. Let's try and select different cars. Uh, in fact, I haven't had a different car right now. If you guys want to just try and keep the same cars, unless there's a reason why you don't want to use it for the next race, that's fair enough. Um, okay, so stunt race. Crashing the stock markets. Okay, we'll give that one a try. I can't remember what this race is. 
It might just be a, like a figure of eight around the main city area, but we'll see. Do you have modded accounts for PS4? No. I don't even have a PS4 account. I have a PS4, but I just don't play it. Uh, right, okay then. This is a 16-player race. We can get some more people in. Let's make sure we put it on non-contact. Morning, clear, traffic, off. There we go. Custom vehicles on. Let's invite some more players in from last job. From my friends, skilled match players. Everyone wants to join. There we go. Everyone's been invited. And whilst people are joining, I'll accept some more friend requests because... Oh my god, it's full again. You can only add six people at a time. Let's scroll down. Uh, it's all alphabetical right now, so let's uh, add some more people further down. McLovin. It's a name I can trust. Uh, please suck. Oh, I can't accept it. I saw him in the game yesterday. Won't let me accept it. Twelve players right now. Let's extend the time. Try and auto invite everyone again, my friends. If no one else joins, we'll just start it up. 13 players. Three more spaces. Um, Fatboy Division said, I'm suffering from the insufficient funds glitch. What should I do? That's the same issue which I have on my other account, which is why I'm not using it. It's probably because you have too much money. Um, you need to sort of like withdraw some of that money to your second character and leave it in their wallet. But if you have over 2 billion, which I'm guessing you probably do if you're having that issue. Yeah, you have to withdraw some money. Alright, we have 13 players. Um, people who are joining have just left. I feel like there's, there's people watching right now who want to join. Never mind. We'll just go. Let's just start it up. There's no point waiting around. Wait, did I leave on sports? Did I, did I really? No. Did I really? That would not surprise me. One bit. Give it a second. If it, if it is, we'll back out. <laughs> I did as well, didn't I? I did. Oops. Let me back out. Guys, you should have told me ten seconds ago. <laughs> That's my fault. I should have checked. Uh, let's go ahead and start that one back up again. It's called crashing the stock market, right? Or something stock market. That's for sure. Crashing. I don't see it. Something stock market. Let's keep scrolling down until I find it. I've probably gone past it. I can't see it. Never mind. We'll go for this one. We played the other day. Uh, on the go. This one's pretty good. So we'll play this one. Uh, why not a stunt race? Um, stunt races aren't really a very good evaluation of vehicles. One of a nice plain race like this. Uh, okay, we'll go for two laps. Uh, Non-contact. Make sure it's set to supercar this time. There we go. Noon. Clear. Traffic off. Uh, Once levels off. Custom vehicles on. And yeah, that should be good. All right. Auto invite. Let's try that again, guys. Everyone join right now if you can. Uh, from current session, there's no one in it. Okay. All right. Hopefully the people who are in the previous race, yeah, they're joining. I wasn't too sure if they'd realise I'd backed out or not. <laughs> All right. Everyone join. Everyone join. Uh, what's the new game mode like? I'm not too sure yet. The new game mode today is named Slashes, so just Slash with an S. Not too sure what the difference is. Haven't read the description yet, but we'll go and play that probably after this race. Just waiting on Anonymous to join. Uh, i got a few more spaces, so if anyone else wants to join and they're online, you can do so. He's joining. Here we go. Alexa, you've been added. There we go. More people joining. 13 people again. Uh, Lion said, please test it at a drag race at the airport. We have already done the drag race at the airport. Um, just go back in the live stream time, just scroll a little timer back. And it was about 15 minutes ago or so, 10, 15 minutes or so. It was one of the best ones. Uh, the only car that we saw that was beating it was the X80 Proto. Um, Fabboy just left again. <laughs> I don't know why that is. When is the car show? We might do it later on. We'll see. Oh, Jesse just took his spot. Uh, waiting on Anonymous to join and R28 who just left. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Might as well add some more people whilst waiting then. Accept some more friend requests. As soon as I go back to the list, more people add me. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm up to 150 friends. I got another 100 spots on this account. Let's accept some more. There we go. Right, launching session. 15 out of the 30 spots filled. Why don't you use face cam? Uh, honestly, I do have one. I just don't think it's necessary for these GTA streams, but I, I have said that I will try and set it up at some point. I want to get like a really cool layout, um, like a little border for the face cam as well, and stuff like that. Um, but I don't really know anyone that's, that's good with doing GFX and stuff. If you guys know people, then yeah, let me know, and uh, I can try and hit them up. Um, but yeah, it's just, just things I need to get done first before I can do that. Let's bet on myself as well. We got $1,000. I won't get much back if I do win, but why not? One of my favorite outfits right here. Nice outfit, Adam. Uh, we've got the uh, highness mark on that character as well. It's around here. Oh, no, we're going. Didn't quite get around. Hello to Dark Matter in the chat again. How's it going, man? Here we go. It's a four mile race. We're doing two laps. Not the most like corner intense race, but we'll go. We'll, we'll give it a try. Go, 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 go. I wasn't too bad then. I wasn't too bad. Oh, the cyclone is miles ahead though. The cyclone is insane off the line. The car didn't spin its wheels uh, much then, as it was doing in the drag race. So we are pretty much neck and neck with the X80 right now, which I think is a little faster than us. The Wagner is miles ahead. I think Anonymous is just modding though. I think. I don't think the Wagner's that fast. Apparently okay, keep ignoring me. I'm not ignoring anyone in the chat, man. If I, if I don't read someone's coming out, it's I'm not able to see it right now. Oh, whoa, what? He, he hit something and just got spun out. Stop. This way. Okay, yeah, this thing, it does have quite a wide turning circle by the looks of things. But it accelerates well, so even though you have to brake hard for corners, you get up to speed pretty well, pretty quickly. I'm first right now. Very unsurprising. So this thing is a beast. I think it's safe to say, guys, this is one of the new best cars we have in GTA Online. <laughs> I didn't get the point at uh, the checkpoint. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, the uh, cornering on this isn't so good. I know I'm not taking the best racing lines. I am no professional racer. Ooh. But it still feels very, very good. Don't spin, don't spin, don't spin. There we go, it's all good. I do think in very corner intense races, other cars, which are all-wheel drive, will have us. Um, this one's fairly straight, I guess. Oh my god. It's a fairly straight track, so it isn't too bad. Almost like this are vital to slow down on. Brakes do feel pretty good. So far, I'm, I'm quite happy with this car. I was sort of waiting to, uh, to do one of those do not buy it videos on this, despite it being a really cool looking car. Uh, I had loads and loads of people on, on social media this morning and before we start the stream up in the comment section saying this car isn't very good at all, that it's slow and that it's just really bad in terms of its handling. But I'm really impressed with it right now. I think the car is really good. Where's the snow? Like I said several times already, it has been removed. It wasn't going to be available in game forever. Um, but it will be coming back later this week, I'm sure. Apparently I'm ignoring people in the chat. I'm trying to race right now. Oh my god, how do you guys think I, I do this? <laughs> I don't have three eyes. Two to look at this screen and one to look at the chat. Whenever I look at the chat, especially during races, I just crash. Well, answer some questions surely, guys, if you have any. Don't worry. I promise I'm not ignoring you. Alright, maybe one or two of you guys. <laughs> I'm joking. Three eyes, I know. I swear you guys somehow expect me to <laughs> somehow read chat, juggle as well, whilst play the game. How do I join your game? Um, right now we're in a race, uh, but we'll be playing the new adversary mode very, very soon. Um, so if you have me added, just accept the uh, the invite shortly. Otherwise, if I'm not appearing online, I'll just do that so you guys can join me anyway. Come on, come on, come on. What is going to be mine? We are miles ahead though. Absolutely miles ahead. And there's no excuses. 
because uh, we have non-contact on. So unless these people are just really bad at racing and crashing into everything, then they can't sort of use the excuse of other people smashing them out of the way and spitting them out because non-contact's on. Oh my god. Second time we did that in my corner. Yeah, I think Adam behind me is in the X80, right? Did you see what, what car he's got? I didn't say. Got uh, Key Gaming, who's in last. A minute and 25 seconds behind. How is that even possible? <laughs> how can you be that far behind? I don't even understand how that's possible. I'm pretty sure my first lap was about a minute long. Oh, I went for two minutes right now. Okay, it's two minutes a lap. I'm getting uh, notifications. Oops. Yeah, we should probably not do that. <laughs> Even though I sort of like wasn't concentrating and I'm still winning somehow. Oh, almost lost it then. Again. It is at a slight disadvantage being a rear-wheel drive car. We've done it, guys. We've won. There we go. Yeah, I am really impressed with the Otark. I think it is a very, very good car. What's Charlotte doing? <laughs> Did she miss another one? <laughs> there we go. Let's go to... I think Key was in last. Let's see how he's doing. Why why he's in last. Give it a second. He's using it right now. Oh, I change the camera angle. V, there we go. Oh, he's using the Otaku as well. And how how could it be so far behind? What is he doing? He seems to have crashed quite a bit. Okay, let's let's maybe swap with someone else. Anonymous. Oh no, he just finished. It's taking me to someone else. This is Shyla who's using the Entity, who is also doing equally bad right now. Uh, Adkar. The race is probably going to end. Must be so, so close to winning right now. The Nero. Okay, loads of these guys should spin out. <laughs> How do you guys do that? Three, two, one, and the race is over. There we go. Alright then, guys. Uh, we're actually at 765 likes right now. We haven't asked for a like spike. We haven't gone for a like spike just yet. So why not? Let's do it. Let's see if we can smash 1,000 likes right now. There's 1,000 of you guys tuned in. So that should be easy. Smash that like button. And uh, let's see if we can do it. And what we're, uh, right now we're going to back out. And we're going to play that new game mode. The new adversary mode named Slashes. Uh, which I haven't checked out yet. Um, but my evaluation on the Otark. It's a good car. It is a very, very good car. I'm pretty impressed with it, so if you guys have $2 million, yeah, definitely consider it. Alright, shout out by the way to, uh, okay, I can't pronounce that name. The guy with X-I-L-T at the start, shout out to you for the like. Uh, shout out to Nick as well for the like, Welsh Dragon Rule as well, shout out to you. Let's back out, go back to free mode. Uh, shout out to Mustang for the like, thank you man. Uh, Esterno, or oh, Ernesto, my bad, <laughs> shout out to you. The speed shout out to you for the like. Uh, Dark Matter as well, thank you for the like. Uh, Bella, thank you for the like as well. Let's quickly go ahead and load this up. We'll do a few more shout outs now. Uh, Rockstar created adversary mode and its name slashes. I'm trying to scroll up and find it. So many adversary modes. Slashes, there we go. The new game mode. And it's also double money in RP on Occupy as well. Uh, that was released last week. Um, Alright, slashes one, slashes two. Does it really matter where we go? We'll do slashes too. It's in Polito Bay. That photo looks pretty cool, so we'll give that a try. We'll load it up and read the description then. 900 likes, guys. Less than 100 to go, actually. 910 right now. Shout out to uh, Blionk for the like. Shout out to Murako for the like. Shout out to Mateus for the like. Uh, shout out to Wolfie. Shout out to Lucas as well for the like. Um, Needles, shout out for the like as well. Alpha. Um, Dark Matter again. Different guy this time. Uh, shout out to Levy, shout out to Danny as well for the like, and to Breedy. Uh, let's invite some people in and we'll return to those. Uh, two rounds to win, let's do that. Uh, from last job, from my friends, and skilled match players. There we go. Let's see if we can get 16 people in here right now. Alright, so this is how, uh, oh, this is what the game mode description is. Uh, like any good horror movie, this isn't supposed to be fair. You're supposed to be fleeing in terror with only a flashlight for company, pursued by a crew of deranged shotgun-wielding psychos. Uh, your only uh, consolation 
is that in less than a minute, the role, other roles are going to switch, and it's you will be drenched in cold blood of your enemies. Last team standing wins. So I'm guessing what two teams, um, one one with shotguns and then one with just a, fa a flashlight, and you have to basically hide. And if you last a minute, you then get given a shotgun, and and they have a flashlight. Is that the description? Is that what I'm basically saying? I think so. Right, we have 16 people in here right now. That's perfect. Launching session. We'll go and see if that's true. Um, shout out to Sean by the way for the like. Apparently it's basically condemned. That's how it sounds. Okay, two teams. Okay, ready up. Ready up, guys. Wait, do we use our own outfits as well? Or is that in the next menu? Ready up, ready up. Okay, apparently our team is uh, overfilled. So I'll swap teams. Team's over the full as well. It's just going to water the sign. Okay, here we go then. Seb said, where's the new car? We've literally just finished showing that off. Uh, we've done that for an hour or so already. Um, just like I said, go back in the live stream if you want to do that. And you can go and check that out. Um, we're going to check out the new game mode right now. Um, slashes. We'll play a round or two of this. If it's good, maybe we'll play a bit more, but we'll see. Okay, here we go. We got the Slashes Halloween sort of, uh, sort of mist right now, or weather. Right, I think we're on the... Uh... Oh, hide from the Slashes. I can't see anything. Oh, my God. It's so dark. Okay, hide. Is this the... Uh... Is this Mount Chiliad? This is the Mount Chiliad tunnel, right? No way. I've not actually been inside here. Oh, there we go. We got Thermal. Right, so basically we have to hide for a minute then. Gonna hide for a minute from the uh, the slashes. I don't know where they're gonna be. Every minute, teams uh, will swap between slashes and hunted. Okay. If we stay still, do we uh, do we get put on the radar? Yeah, this is Mount Chiliad. I thought so. I can hear my heart beating if I... Oh no, that's just the timer running out. It's been a minute already. Right, we have shotguns now. Okay. Um, I can't see anything. What? How do I turn the flashlight on? There we go. Alright. Where, where even is the... I've not been inside here before, so I have no idea where I'm going. I need to, like, see. I'm guessing they're going to be in here, right? Okay. I have some, like, very weird mask on right now as well. Yeah, my own footprints. Apparently the tunnel system is massive. They could be anywhere. Shout out to Crazy Killer, by the way, for the like. Oh, I thought that was going to be someone there. Wait, what? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What? Round winner? What? What happened? What do we do? What, what do we do if we win? What do we do? What? Oh, they took it. Wait, what? Our teams are given out? What? <laughs> I didn't see anyone. <laughs> I didn't see anyone the entire game, but there we go. So yeah, basically then... Oh, this game is pure camping, yeah. That's, that's basically it. Um, yeah, basically this uh, this adversary mode then is... Uh, wow, slashes, but with, with more than one slasher then. Basically. That's why they named it slashes instead of just slasher. <laughs> fun. Very, very fun indeed. All right, let's do that again. I'm not gonna be slashes first of all, okay. Oh. Press E, there we go. Oh, we got a monotuck in here. It's so dark right now. We didn't get thermal vision. I've got no idea where we're going. Shout out to, uh, Afrid. Is it? RF? There we go, that's probably the, the right pronunciation. But like, where are, we, where are we even going? Did I get him? He's down. It's gonna be more this way. Okay, 
We haven't got much time, we haven't got much time. Take him out, take him out. There we go, he's down, he's down. Anyone else? Hide, 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 hide. We're being hunted. Someone down there, someone down there. Just gotta hide here, look at that, look at that. <laughs> Run, no, no, they saw me! <laughs> I thought they wouldn't see me if I just hit the... Oh, mug sack, no! Oh, I thought I had that in the bag then. I thought that was all mine. Alright. Wait, these guys are hiding in the... What? Where if it is that? Where? What? <laughs> and then uh, it's just standing there in the corner. That's cool. That's a really nice hiding spot. I have no idea what even is. Shout out to AlphaTube again for the like, and Lucas as well. Thank you. Uh, and we have two guys here as well. Don't move around too much, guys. I can hear your footprints. Okay, go down to that uh, tunnel. Down there, guys, is where they were. Watch out, watch out, watch out. That's where they are, that's where they are. No, 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 no. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. These guys are just completely hidden inside this uh, this room here somewhere. But there are six of them. You guys have got this. Go back to that tunnel system. I think you guys are actually in it right now. Yeah, this is it, this is it. Did you get someone? You got someone then. Shyla. Okay. Five people remaining. In about 35 seconds or so. Adam said, why are you ignoring me? God, I'm not ignoring anyone, man. <laughs> you guys have to understand how difficult it is to like play and uh, read the chat at the same time. I did try it. I tried to read out as many comments as possible. Again, Seb asked... Uh, has the snow gone? It has been removed, yes. I've answered that comment now, like, a good ten times. Yes, the snow has been removed. Has been removed now, um, since this morning, and we'll be coming back, I'm sure, later this week. And yeah, I'm very focused. I try my best. When I, when I like, just read the chat, um, yeah, I just die. And then you guys complain that I'm doing terrible. <laughs> Here's a guy. Oh, no, he knows where he is. He knows where he is. No. Oh, he got through. Oh. You just missed the guy. Just, just hide in the corner. Hide in the... Don't move around too much. They can hear you. Oh, they're going to get shot. They're going to get shot. You guys got this. Run, 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 run. Yeah, hide there, hide there. They'd never guess that. Let's see where Alex is. Where, where even is he? He's just in that corner where he was before. <laughs> He's just blending in. He's wearing camo right now, so they can't see him. Oh, they've got him. They've got him. You, man, run, 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 run. You got this. He's so, oh, he's so low on health. Just a breeze would take him out. And I bet the other people now on the enemy team are watching the stream so they know exactly where he's at. Oh, no. No. Even though he can kill one person, he's going to get shot. Oh, come on, come on, come on. No. Oh, you almost had him, man. It's a shame. The torch takes two hits to kill someone, whereas obviously the shotgun is one. That's kind of unfair. Nick asked, is the Otak worth buying? Uh, just from what we've we've seen in the stream, yes, the Otaku is a very good car, definitely worth buying. By the way, guys, we are 18 likes away from 1,000 likes. So if you guys haven't done so already, drop a like right now. 18, just 18 of you guys, and we can we can smash that. All right. Well, strike and roll last. Do you remember me? No idea who you are, man. Uh, when you're accepting friend requests, do not start from the top every time. I know, man. I, I do try and scroll down, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Next time we're accepting some more. Shout out to Shaky as well for the like, and to Alyssa. And we've just smashed a thousand likes as well. You guys are awesome. Thank you so, so much for the support. And uh, we are now on the Hunter team. Okay, let's get these uh, flashlights out. Oh, we can just press there. Press that. Thermal. Was that gunshots already? Oh, oh, this could be a good. Oh, look at that. Yes. Look at that. Get down, guys. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. The thing is now, the enemy team, I'm sure they could just watch the stream and just see where I am. That's the only problem with streaming and playing this game mode. Why is Dragon Rule? Why are you spamming late in the chat? <laughs> I wrote the same thing ten times, and you have ignored me. Lucas, I'm trying to play the game. God damn it. 
Oh, he knows where we are. Oh, we got this. Shoot him. Where is he? Where is he gone? He was right here. You got him? Yeah, he's down. Okay, he's down as well. Oh, the guy hit. How many shots do you want to take? Damn. What was that? Was that an SMG then I heard? Can we get the car today? Yes, the Otark is now available in GTA Online. It was released early today, despite the fact we've received so many cars recently. Uh, where are they at? I have got long left. They have thermal visions, they know where I am. I don't know where they are. I don't see anyone. Should run this way. Can I climb up there? And jump across? Nope. <laughs> I tried. I'm stuck on something. What is it? A fence. Oh, I'm stuck on the plane right now. I'm back where I was before, I think. I've just gone around in a circle. Where were they hiding before? They had like a little secret room going on. Could just hide here though, right? There we go. I climb up? No. Crouch, crouch, crouch. There we go. Leading up against the wall. I didn't see or hear anyone that game, or that round. Here we go then. Another slasher again. That was a good location right there to hide. This is the room that I think they were in before, right? Yeah, this is the room. There are weapons in here as well. This is going to be my next hiding spot. Who's left? Oh, there's just two players on their team and one player on my team. It's just me. <laughs> Hear anyone? I don't see anyone. Is that location as well we can hide in? Oh wow! So many little secret rooms in here. Okay, one minute left. It's the last round. I'm gonna lose this as well. That's the bad thing as well. But there's more of them, so I'm gonna lose. Wait, sudden death. I can't see anything. Oh, it's because... Okay, we've, we've all got shotguns now, I think. It's 2v1. No! Did I miss every shot? Oh, no way. No way. What is this? This is a new game mode named Slasher. Match loser. We lost it. In fairness, it is a pretty good game mode. I will say that. I did enjoy playing that. But we're going to back out. 17,000 for coming uh, last, basically. Second. Um, the winning team probably got a decent amount. It was quite a short round as well. I think it was about five minutes or so um, per round. So they got 10,000. I'd imagine if we got 17,000, they probably got around about 40 or 35,000. Everyone just like rate the job so we can continue on and back out. Crazy Killer said, I've got a question. Just ask me, man. If I don't answer it the first time around, it's because I'm uh, busy. Adam said, go to free mode. Yeah, we're going to do that right now. We're going to go back to free mode and uh, get back in the Otak. All right, let's back out. How do you start the flashlight? Uh, just select it. On the shotgun, you press E if you play on PC. Right here we go. Back in Polito Bay in my Otak. Yeah, all right. Let's go for a drive around then, and we'll we'll finish this live stream off by answering any questions you guys have. So if you guys have anything you want to sort of like question right now, whether it's regarding this or just anything in general, let me know right now. And uh, yeah, uh, then we'll finish things up with a couple of shoutouts. 
If you guys haven't done so already, smash that like button. We smashed a thousand likes, which is insane. And I can't thank you guys enough. Uh, the support you guys have shown this month is absolutely insane. It's been a very, very busy month for me, and to be honest, guys, I'm looking forward to a small break in January. Um, I'm probably going to try and book to go away somewhere, because it's been a very intense month. Uh, ben asked, is the Otark worth buying? Uh, I definitely think so. Uh, it's $1,955,000, so yes, it, it is expensive. It's up there in the more expensive price range. Um, but as we saw earlier on, in a straight line, it's one of the fastest cars in the game. Not the fastest, but one of the fastest. And ran the track against some other supercars. Um, I don't know if it was just because the people I was playing with weren't as good. I don't know. Um, but we, we came first in two different races. Uh, it is rear-wheel drive, so obviously off the line, there's a bit of wheel spin. And going around corners, it's not as planted. There is, you know, it's got a very, very wide turning circle. So you will have to break a lot for corners. So very, you know, very corner intense races you might have issues with. Um, but we played two different races and, uh, it, it, well, it won both. Uh, Dylan asked, what is the car called? It's called the Overflood Otark. Overflood is the, uh, the brand name. Same company that makes the Enter the XF in game. Is it faster than the Wagner? It is, yes. It's faster than quite a few of the supercars in game. The only car that we saw that was faster than it at the airport in the drag race was the X80 Proto. But I'm sure in a much longer straight line, cars like the RC Banshee 900R and the um, 811 would be faster than it. Please answer my question. What is your question? Let me know right now. If, it, if you've already commented it and it's gone off the, the screen, I can only see like 10 of the most recent comments. Um, so I can't like scroll back up without tabbing out and like stopping what we're doing. Uh, is the 811 the fastest car in game? It is in a straight line after you know a, a, you know, a long distance, but it takes quite some time to get to that top speed. Um, shout out by the way to Como for dropping a like on the stream. Appreciate that, man. Um, yeah, right now, there's, there's not really any any comments worth <laughs> reading out. Uh, are you playing on PC? Yes. Uh, the Ocelot's uh, Para is the new fastest car in game. Is that true? That's news to me. I didn't know that. Wow, okay, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. That's news to me. Alright, well, it's, it's faster. But it's a sports car though, right? Am I right in saying that? Pretty sure it's a sports car. Um, I have a question. The gangster said, yes, ask that question right now. Are you from the UK? I am. Do you live in the UK? Uh, how much does it cost to fully customize the Otark? Same sort of price as all cars, about two hundred and fifty to three hundred thousand um, dollars. The actual unique customizations available for this aren't that expensive. Uh, same with most cars. The more expensive customizations are the upgrades for the like engine, all the standard stuff, engine, armor, brakes, and so on. Uh, the other things you can do to it, there are quite a few things, uh, like change the color of the rear diffuser, front bumper, the hood, the rear fenders, the front fenders. The sills, they're all, you know, fairly cheap. Just a few thousand each. Where in the UK are you from? I live in Wales. A city known as Cardiff. We're about to sneeze. I can feel a sneeze coming on. I'm going to try and resist. A day to say potato. There we go. A double day to say potato as well. Oh my god. Oops. She's a in game as well. Is Slasher two times RP? Ah, uh, it's Slashers, the new game mode. Just Slasher with an S. <laughs> That's double money in RP. So is uh, the game mode we had last week, Occupy. That's still double money in RP. Someone's asked about discounts. Let's have a look. I've not actually looked. Let's start off with the legendary motorsports websites. We have the Overflood Attack. It's out today. Uh, there's the vehicle you guys tell me is the fastest in game. Um, any discounts this week? Anything at all? Anything? The Zentorno is discounted. And that's $500,000. Zentorno is a really good car in fairness. Very underrated. It used to be very overrated back in the day. Like, everybody owned it. But now it's uh, less popular. Anything else? Yeah, the Hermes. That's not discounted though. I don't see any discounts on here. Okay, nothing. Did I scroll past anything? If I did scroll past anything, let me know. Apparently the 
Karuma is still discounted. Did I miss that one? Karuma, where is it? There it is, the armor Karuma. I missed that one. Okay, the armor Karuma is still discounted. Rockstar really obviously want to sell that. 365,000. Now is the time to buy that if you haven't got one already. Um, what else have we got? Latest travel? Anything on there? Nothing. Wasn't the Zentorno uh, discounted last week? If it is. I know that some of the businesses are discounted. Let's look at those. The Arcadius. Oh, maybe it's the same discounts as last week. Yeah, the same discounts by the looks of things. Let's try... Yeah, the Maze Bank foreclosure website. We'll know for sure now if we select this property here. Yeah. Alright, same discounts as last week. There aren't any new ones then. Uh, so there we go. Same as before. Apparently the Ocelot Pare. Probably said that one wrong. There probably is a, a correct pronunciation. I need to check that one up. Um, it was 160 miles an hour. Is that true? Because the 811 is 130 in game. That's crazy fast. Is it faster than the 811? The Otak? No. The Otak is not faster than the 811 in a straight line. Um, the 811 is. Oh, sorry. Is, is now apparently the second fastest car in game. With the. Uh, yeah, this, this, I'm not too sure about where this is positioned, because we'd have to do a full test. Um, but yeah, it's, it's slower than the X80 Proto, and I think the X80 Proto is something like the fourth, third or fourth fastest car in game in a straight line. Um, so this one's probably, yeah, fifth or sixth or so. But it's faster than most other supercars in the category. How much is the car? It's actually in the title of this live stream, $1,955,000. Um, apparently the able one is faster than the, the power. Oh my god. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to just stop responding to questions and comments like that. Because I, I haven't done the test myself. Um, you guys are telling me that it's faster. I've not actually tried it. So I have no idea. The Fangio is faster than the 811. That is a true fact. Fangio is faster. I thought the Cyclone was the fastest, accelerating wise, yeah. Acceleration off the line it is fastest, I guess you could say, but in a straight line overall top speed, uh, it's not. The Cyclone has a top speed of about 120 or so, or 122, whereas, yeah, vehicles like the 811 can do 132. Doesn't sound like a lot, but in game it is quite a noticeable difference. Alright, loads and loads of you guys in the chat right now are literally just arguing over top speeds and different cars and stuff like that. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap things up right now, guys. Um, yeah, that's it for the stream. We, we've actually been going for an hour and a half or so right now. We've checked out, yeah, the new vehicle. We've customized two of these, and we checked out the new game mode as well. Um, quick overview then for those people just tuning in. The Otak is a really good car. Very, very good car. I would recommend buying it. Um, I don't see any reason why you shouldn't, apart from the fact that it is all, obviously almost 2 million. But it does seem better than most supercars in the category. Uh, sort of race-wise and uh, speed-wise. So, yeah, it's... It's definitely up there as one of the best cars in the game, and one of my new favorites, actually. I love the rear end of this car, so if you guys like the looks and you like fast cars, go for this. Um, but yeah, with that being said then, guys, we're going to wrap things up right now. If you guys want a shout-out, drop a like in the stream, comment, anything you want, just so I can see your name in the chat. We'll try and get some shout-outs in right now. Shout-out to Carlos, shout-out to AlphaTube again, shout-out to Reluck, shout-out to Epic Coma. Shout out to Sleepless CDN. Shout out to Dylan. Shout out to Jake. Um, shout out to Como again. Shout out to Welsh Dragon Rule. Said Merry Birthday. <laughs> shout out to Vogetech. Shout out to Dom. Shout out to Alexa again. Shout out to Alyssa. Shout out to uh, Exino. Shout out to Jake. Shout out to Let's Shoot Shoe Eva. Hopefully I said that right. I apologize if not. Uh, Danny as well. Shout out to you, Caleb. Uh, Domino. Shout out to Dante, shout out to Crazy Gamer, shout out to uh, shout out to Elias, shout out to Seb, shout out to Ro, shout out to Yes or Die, shout out to Oliver, shout out to Frederick, shout out to Zaid Nation, shout out to uh, Rohan, Claws, what's going on man? It's good to see you again. Shout out to um so it's collab, shout out to Nasty, shout out to JJ, shout out to Exino again, shout out to Coolest, shout out to John, shout out to Zane again, shout out to Matthew, shout out to uh, Matthew, shout out to XLBT, shout out to Joshua, Mateus, Ralph Dog, or Wolf Dog, shout out to Sam Kemp, shout out to Vision, shout out to Simon, shout out to Blue, Carlos the TJ, Antonio, Vision, Crazy, 
Ashish, Vision again. Crazy, I'm seeing loads and loads of the same names right now. If you guys have had a shout out, please refrain from commenting so I can get everybody else done. Winter, shout out to you. Uh, P. Jung, hopefully I said that right. I'm terrible when it comes to pronunciation, so I'm sure you guys know. Uh, shout out to Blue Onk, or Blee Onk. Shout out to uh, Elite Mac. Shout out to uh, LOL. Shout out to Yes or Die again. Oops. Shout out to uh, Distinct. Shout out to Reshon. Crazy Potato. That's Dot. Shout out to Andrew as well. Shout out to Josh. Shout out to Keelan. Seo uh, Bum. That's that one right. Jojo. Shout out to you as well. Uh, Jenish. Uh, Andrew. Tiro. Uh, Alyssa again. Megaforce. Kex. Um, shout out to. Oh my god. <laughs> See what I mean? I can't read chat and drive at the same time. I'm so bad at this. Uh, shout out to Todd. Shout out to Brandon. Shout out to Frederick. Shout out to Ultra. Shout out to James. Shout out to I don't know. Shout out to Winter again. And one final one. Shout out to Frederick. Um, there we go then, guys. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys had a fantastic Christmas yesterday. And uh, yeah, have a fantastic day as well uh, today. And uh, yeah. I'll see you guys then later on in my next video or live stream. Um, I'll probably do like a full review on this, going over all the points. So if you guys haven't watched the entire stream, then just look out for that video as well. And uh, in regards to the snow, yes, it has been removed, but it will be coming back very, very soon. Um, but with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later on. Goodbye.